I want to tell you, it is so great to be back here in Ashraf 3. It's great to feel your energy. It's great to feel your enthusiasm because the time for change has come. I am so thrilled to join, be joined by so many parliamentarians from different parties, from different regions of Canada, who want to come and show their support for you, for the people of Iran, for freedom. So it's a real honour to be here. We, I want to tell you, in Canada, we admire the bravery of the people of Iran who have the courage to stand up to the religious zealots, to the religious fascists in Tehran. Despite brutal repression for more than 40 long years, the people of Iran are fighting in large numbers for freedom, for human rights, for democracy. They want and they are demanding fundamental change. The people of Iran want regime change. They want, they want an end to the corrupt and incompetent government. They want an end to the support of terrorism. They want an end to the nuclear program. They want to end this vicious regime. And I, the work of the MEK resistance units around the country is both impressive and very inspiring. And more and more are joining this movement, whether it's students, teachers, unions, retirees, and they are establishing a vast network and building popular support in every corner of Iran. And their courage and their hard work is paying off. This regime is faltering. In fact, it's at its weakest point since the revolution in 1979. And let me tell you, the winds of change are coming to Iran. The, the IRGC, the mullahs, and those who prop them up have to know that their days are numbered and it is time for them to go. The National Council of Resistance of Iran and its 10-point plan will lead the Iranian people to a much brighter future. I stand, we all stand, in awe of Iranians living in exile and to all of you fighting for change in every corner of Iran. And I want to pay special tribute to the work, the hard work of each and every one of you at Ashraf 3. Your courage and your determination inspire me and they inspire so many people around the world. However, however, friends, there is one person that the mullahs fear the most. There is, in fact, a very good reason why they will not let a woman stand for election as president of Iran. It is the leader of your movement, a woman who is not afraid, a woman who will not back down, a woman who will not quit until the job is done. I pay tribute to your leader. I pay tribute to someone who I call a friend, Mariam Rajavi. You inspire all of us. You inspire all of us here today. We, your friends in Canada, don't stand behind you. They stand shoulder to shoulder with you in your great struggle for freedom. Now, while I love visiting Ashraf 3, my greatest wish is to join you next year in a free Iran. An Iran with freedom and democracy, an Iran with a booming economy, an Iran that will be one of the great nations in the world once again, an Iran without corruption, an Iran that will play a positive role in the region, an Iran that will uh, deliver freedom to the Iranian people, an Iran, most importantly, an Iran without the mullahs in charge. Thank you so much for the warm welcome. Hazar, Hazar, Hazar!